Well, I wanted to talk to you because the last time, this is, was a very funny thing. I was talking to you. I saw you around Christmas time. Liza and I see you and we're hanging out and we get dinner and this really happened. I'm telling you about this trailer that I saw online. Yeah. And I'm someone who, um, if something grabs me, it really grabs me and I can't stop thinking about it. And I watched this trailer and then I watched it again and again and I was showing it to my kids uh, and it's the trailer that had gone viral called Cocaine Bear. Oh yeah. So I am talked to you and I go like, oh man, this thing, Cocaine Bear. And you went, yeah. And I went, oh man, I don't see that. And you went, you, you do know, know that <laughs> that's my movie. And I didn't know. That's... And I was talking to you about Cocaine Bear. You were. <laughs> and it was so, I mean, I felt, story. I felt like an idiot. But also you could, what's nice about it is you could tell my enthusiasm was genuine. Real, yeah. It yeah. was real. I was like, oh my God, because I thought this is the best title for a movie since Pootie Tang. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's one of the best titles for a movie it's an amazing title. Uh, ever. And uh, and I just, because <laughs> all you need to hear is Cocaine Bear. Yeah. But then I, I see the trailer and I was like, oh, gee. And like everyone else who saw the trailer, like, what the? You get, it's a big like, what? They yeah. made, that's real? They made this? They allowed people to make a movie called that? And then um, I was very excited because they said, hey, uh, Elizabeth Banks is coming on the podcast, which I was very excited about. And they said, um, you can check out Cocaine Bear if you want. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, no, we'll give you a, a link and you can watch it. So Liza and I watched it and uh, I had a blast. We Thank had an absolute you. blast. And there are so many sequences there. I mean, I was there are so many sequences in the movie that I kind of want to watch a few more times. <laughs> and I don't want to give anything away, yeah. but... Uh, we do, we tuck a few things into it that I hope make people want to see it twice. Like go like, wait, what was that line that she said again? Yeah. What was that thing yeah. that she did? And you know what's it's fantastic is, all you need to know is it's cocaine bear. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> my only disappointment is at the end, the bear doesn't become like a producer. <laughs> that would have been a really good ending. He's a very he's just on the lot. He's on the lot. He's a very and he's still doing a like, ton well, of cocaine. Totally. And it's a, a, occasionally attacking like a tour van, but other than that. <laughs> um, but what was really nice about it was I think doing, I think the combination. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich that is scary and funny is probably almost impossible to pull off, and you pulled it off. It oh. is scary and funny. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the challenge of it, right? Like that was the the tone and the script that I thought, oh, if I get this right, I think it can hit. And and but it, yeah, it's a fine line to walk for sure. Because there are moments where I don't. Uh, there are times where uh, truly. <laughs> the bear is doing something absolutely terrible to somebody and I'm howling, yeah. I'm laughing and also shrieking at the same time. <laughs> and you don't want to hear me laugh and shriek at the same time. It's, I, I, won't, I won't, no, you don't, you don't. Oh. It's really good that I saw this. I'm glad you had that reaction because I've, I've only seen it with audiences, you know, yeah. and seeing it with audiences, it's pretty intense because, uh, you know, I mean, you'll have couples having completely different reactions sitting right next to each other. Like some that are just like, I, Wah! you know, and others that are laughing like in the same moment, you know, which is very fun to see. Yeah. All I'll say is there's a whole scene that involves EMTs and an ambulance <laughs> and it plays out. And I'm just like, uh, and, it, and it goes on for a while and it just keeps <laughs> ratcheting up. <laughs> To the point where I think this can't get crazier, crazier, and then it doubles. Yeah, uh, and um, uh, and the other thing I really liked about it is I, and, and we've talked about this before. We won't name names, but there are movies famously that star kids. Yeah, yeah. that, <clears throat> and I'll say it's so tricky because some. Yeah, a lot of times I watch movies with kids, and I don't like the kids. Yeah, and I'm in general. Uh, I I like children. Oh, I really you do. do. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I root for them because that's the future of the species. It's very controversial. I don't, I don't want to spend time with them, <laughs> but I'm told my own children are lovely, and I will meet them one day. But uh, the the girl and the boy uh, who are central to it yep. are great, and and the boy is I think a real find. He just gets a lot more screen totally. time. Yeah, yeah, but he's a real find, and I liked him. Yeah, he has some great lines. He's a he is a for sure a um, 
An audience favorite, yeah. I think putting kids into adult scenarios too, like truly adult scenarios, is always, to me, can be very funny. Right. And the movie's really about, I really love making movies about underdogs generally, mm -hmm. and I like multiple POV. I've, I've made three films now, they all are like, you know, many characters. I've never just followed, you know, Jack right. Reacher or something. I don't right. know. Right. Um, so the, the notion that we could find like kids to put into this scenario, I was like, well, you're never going to have a bigger underdog than like <laughs> anybody meeting a bear that they don't know is high in cocaine, right? <laughs> like, I don't care if you are Jack Reacher, <laughs> you uh, are an underdog yeah. in that scenario. Also, I just love, I, I, it was so funny to me. <laughs> How much the bear enjoys cocaine. <laughs> he really <laughs> likes it. And and uh and then once he gets a taste for it, you know, God help you if you have some cocaine in your back pocket. Yeah. Uh and um it's all based on a real story. Well, which yes. I didn't know. Yeah, and and frankly, partially based on this notion. So in real life, let's just say, the real life bear. OD'd big time on right. the cocaine, right? right. So it Which is a good message to get out to those kids. Yeah. But I think the movie is not pro drug, by the way. The movie is oh. very much like drugs is bad. Yes. <laughs> it, it is. It is. Um, so I, I feel like I stayed true to my, you know, to uh, we're, we're keeping it clean for the kids yeah. in that yep. regard. Um, but the real bear truly obviously loved that co I mean could not stop eating it to the right. point where it's like the necropsy on the bear it, you know was like it's a heart exploded every organ inside of its right. body was the like, bear itself became a good poster child for don't do drugs correct yeah. it really did um but I remember when I read that story which was is about this drug runner Andrew Thornton um who opens our film dropping these drugs out of this airplane and then he ends up in a whole other scenario. Right. Uh, but basically, that this bear was like collateral damage yeah, in yeah. this, you know, bizarre drug run scenario and the war on drugs and hut da da. And I just, I remember feeling deep sympathy sure. for this bear. Like, what the fuck? Like, this, that's so. And so when I read this script, I thought, well, this this is the revenge story for the bear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, the bear didn't I ask for this. The bear didn't want it. The bear didn't that. call his dealer. No. And say, get over here. The bear was like, I mean, you put these drugs right in front of me. Right. I tasted them. They made me excited. I needed more, you yeah. know? <laughs> and now, so now in the movie, we just imagine, well, what if that bear ran into a bunch of people? You know what's, <laughs> and I, I, I don't, I don't think I'm giving a, a, anything away when I say it's, uh, and you learn this in the movie, but I thought it was a really cool distinction that uh, th there's a real distinction between brown bears yes. and uh, black, black bears. bears. Yeah. And black bears are thought to be much less worrisome. Yeah, and they so, are, they truly are. Yeah, like they, this, we shouldn't create, I don't wanna create like jaws here. Like I don't want everyone to be like, I can't be, you can you can see a black bear yeah, and yeah. not totally lose your mind. I mean, don't go close to a wild animal. Do I really have to say that out loud on the <laughs> right. podcast? But and maybe don't give it like, a lot of cocaine. Don't give it cocaine. <laughs> yeah. No. So, but it was what I. There's a thing in the movie where people make assumptions about this black yes. bear because black bears are supposed to be pretty harmless and they don't know the, what's the backstory. They yeah. don't know what this what's in this oh. bear system. <laughs> so they're like, oh, don't worry about it and. Bears uh, are friendly. Yeah. So um, I, I was, yeah. That's one of my, that's Jesse Tyler Ferguson's character is like a, like a PETA bear expert, yes. right? Like he loves animals. He calls them friends. <laughs> he doesn't. He's you know. really funny. <laughs> and uh, you know what? I, when he first came on camera, I didn't recognize him. I know, thank you. And, uh, and, and then uh, Lies is the one that said, oh my God. And I was laughing and thinking, oh, this guy's <laughs> terrific. Because he looks quite different. Yes. And then uh, Liza said, that's Je that's Jesse. That's Jesse Tyler Ferguson. I was like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, he's great. He's so great. We've been old friends. We, I made one of my, I think my second movie ever. I made with Jesse in Vermont <laughs> in the late nineties, <laughs> <laughs> and um, he actually played a an anti gay priest or like seminary student or something, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is obviously clearly not his life since he's. <laughs> Married to a man with children. He changed a lot. He he saw, I don't know, yeah. He saw the light. He, it was really a testament to his acting skills, yeah. Conan, because he really played that up. Um, how excited were you when it's 
Christmas time and the trailer hits and people were freaking out and it's blowing up. Was that is that a fun experience? Well, I mean, I would think it would have to it's be. Thank you go like oh thank God you know you just are so relieved. I would say I was relieved more than anything. And I don't know. I also though I'm like I I still has to translate into people buying tickets and putting their butt in the seat. And I don't know if that I don't know what's happening in the world. Anymore. Well, it's a crazy. I mean, it's a crazy time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with with streaming and getting people into movie theaters totally. and everyone's trying to figure out the business. But I think all you, there's too much to worry about and all you, in my life, what I'm constantly reminding myself is uh, just worry about the work. Yeah, and then to- worry totally. about what you can control and then things change. There's giant tectonic shifts happening all around us that we can't control. Yeah. But uh, I think you've got a really good head start with Cocaine Bear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. Yeah. And just the two of you snuggled up in your house. There was no snuggling. <laughs> Liza called a halt to that years ago. <laughs>